hello everyone so today I am going to implement this uh, system where no matter I place the cars they will always find uh, the closest point these cars can enter to the road and they will continue driving so even if I turn them into opposite side they will turn around and come into the road see now as you can see all the cars are in the road now driving and also I have added this debug line just to show what is the location that these cars the target location of the car that they are driving next so yeah let's see how to implement this today okay let me show you again and maybe just duplicate this car put somewhere else okay so that's how it works everybody can find their point of access to road and continue driving let me add a couple more cars here like this surely they can bump into each other but let's see oh nice and we already have some pre-collision detection and avoidance system that allows them to even if they run into some other cars they can stop and continue after some time so yeah the system is working here is it again right okay let's see how to do these things today right now in the current version as long as the car is facing the starting point of the path this is the starting point it works fine so here is the preview see the car can align itself with the path and go but if I turn it maybe this way this is what happens see so it doesn't work when the car is facing the complete opposite but if I turn it slightly it tries to come into the location but it can't really reach that point so it keeps going round and round so uh, in order to address this issue if the car is facing the complete opposite we can what we can do um, let's uh, let me open the car and here uh, let's just like these points let's add another scene point let me just duplicate one of these BP which stands for back point and that should be a point behind the car so I'll make this minus like this so then 
here and uh, in the place where we decide the direction here here what we are doing is get distance from the target point to left point and right point and then uh, decide the turning direction so now we need another parameter here let's get the BP which represents back point get world location and calculate the distance from the target point to the back point so if uh, if this distance is less than for either LP or RP actually one of them should be fine if this this distance is smaller than O we can check if this distance is larger than greater than this distance that means our target point is behind the car so if that happens we should not consider this gap difference so we can add an and boolean here and not of this condition if that is the case so that means if our target point is behind the car uh, without considering the gap difference we should always steer the car to some side so that we can turn the car around so I have removed other cars to make it easier for testing now to show the target point let me draw a debug line target point is calculated here so draw debug line the starting point is this end point is this plus some let's say 100 or maybe 200 line color pink thickness 5 duration let's keep it zero so that will keep it there forever let's see now this is the target point and the car is trying to turn and come to this point so since we don't have any speed control Now you see the car is indefinitely going in round and round. So yeah. So to so to prevent this, one thing we can try is when the car get closer to the path, we can do a check to get the closest point on the road to the car. Then get the next uh point the car should reach we should update the target point so how can we do that well here set the spline distance oh not here where do i update it is it here Yeah, actually it's here see here we calculate the distance from 
target point to the actor and if it is smaller than check gap which is 500 we increment the distance target spline distance so that's what happens here so right let me create another function a custom event that we can run like maybe in every one second or in some interval not necessary on each tick check next target so this is to uh, update the target spline distance in an intelligent way without just checking the distance so how can we do that first from the spline we have the road spline we need a way to get the closest point to the car so that means we are trying to get the car into the road whenever in whatever the point closest to the car at the moment so uh, i think it would be better if we have a function for this so we can have local variables what was the event name i use okay anyway find next target the road display get world location no at distance get location at distance along spline so distance from auto variable the space should be word and here distance should be a local variable sorry I can't move promote to local variable then this value also get at the location and calculate the distance oh this could be a bit confusing so distance along let's call this a spline distance and let's calculate the distance between the car and whatever this point given by this distance if and here uh, if this uh, length if this distance is less than whatever the previous value we have so let's me promote this to another variable closest distance to closest point on the spline <laughs> by default let's make this a uh, very large value oh, like this should be enough so if this value is less than this value then we can set as the new close distance to closest point as whatever the result here we get and we can have another variable in the float uh, next no 
closest point distance closest point is plane distance so at that means at this point we will get the closest point to the car along the spline which should be this one then uh, we can increment a spline distance with uh, some value let's add 200 if this value is larger than the total distance of the road spline that means we have checked the complete road so length so whatever the closest spline distance we have prior by now should be the ideal closest position to the car along the spline I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say okay so if this is true we can if this is false we have to reiterate so that means here go back here <coughs> all right now we have a closest point but uh, we don't want to go to the closest point instead we want to go to the go, we want to have a target point that means let me explain it with an image let's say this is the road okay and car is reaching towards the road this way forward and this would be the closest point to the car along the road but then if the car try to reach this position the it's not ideal so instead if i make the car reach some position in front of the row in front of this position so maybe some point like this car can align with the road nicely so guy come in here turn like this and get on the road so that's basically what i want to do so for that here I'll update the spline distance like this. Um, target spline distance set. Get the closest point spline distance. And add maybe 200 to that point and set but when we set we have to check if we are exceeding the total length of the road actually we do that check here so we have to use this logic Oh, we can just simply 
re-implement it here oh, we already have this plan length if this result is larger than the road length we have to set the next point as zero otherwise whatever this value okay now this should be hopefully uh, update in the next target location then uh, we need some place to call this function where should I do that for now I'll call it here find next target just for testing and see what happens nothing is happening okay why oh sorry why haven't i used this oh that's a mistake i have to actually use it let's do a select so if this is true we have to use this otherwise we have to keep whatever we had before <laughs> still nothing happens oh sorry again no we can't do it like this we have to have a branch if this is true we have to do these things <laughs> if not we shouldn't we have to just continue shall we try now okay now we should yeah see this target point is updating great so now okay car got into the road and now it can follow uh, but one issue is okay it's too close actually yeah we can fix it mm, here instead of 200 sorry not that here instead of 200 let's have 500 that should do better great see now car is quickly getting on the road awesome uh, what if we increase it further maybe thousand could that be better <laughs> yeah it seems so great So, one more thing for optimization, uh, 
maybe it's not such a great idea to do this calculation uh, even though it doesn't affect much we may not need it so let's break it from here and timer set timer by function name function name is find next target and loop in so let's execute this every point three second that should be enough yeah that seems enough Also, one more thing now that I am seeing the next target mm, here. Check gap five hundred. Let's increase it. 2000 and distance increment gap instead of 50 let's try 500 that should make the car driving is smooth uh, I think Still we have this shaking to the sides problem I need to find a better solution for that but yeah for today's target is making the car finding its way to when it is not facing the starting direction and that is working So shall we try multiple cars? I'm really afraid to do that. That could be a mess. Could be messy. But nothing to lose. Oh, they went away. We need something to block. Oh, simply we need more space for them to oh, these are landscape components all right let's turn them slightly to the right so they should be turning that way See, now they go to the road in different places, but they are in the road. See, great. So anyway, the system is working. And also one more thing. Uh, this system should allow us to place the cars at any point in the road, not just in the beginning. So if I just place some cars here. Here, here, <coughs> now 
now they should be able to start from any point let's see Alright, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So they are getting smarter and smarter. Nice. So here is the final preview. I have changed colors of the cars just to make it look nicer. And they can enter the road from anywhere closest to them and continue driving. okay so next time i want to implement driving mm, i want to try driving in the opposite direction also so maybe they need a way to determine the lane that they should be driving so that they should avoid running into other cars things like that all right let's see and also another thing would be uh, they should go faster in straight areas and go slower when they have to take turns and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye